This program is made possible by Mason's Wallet and patrons like you. Thank you. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a few different things with your PSP. We're going to remove the current custom firmware that's on the system by downgrading it, and then we're going to upgrade it. Kind of like this. Hey, why am I the downgrade? Maybe you're the new firmware? First off, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to downgrade your firmware. I am currently on 6.60 custom firmware, and I'm going to be going down to just official 6.60 Sony firmware. We'll come back to the PSP in a minute, but first let's jump over to the computer. So now that you're at your PC, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and download some files I have linked in the description. You're also going to want to hook up your PSP to your computer. You're going to want to grab an update for your PSP system. I happen to be using a PSP 2000 in this. My file I'm using will also work for the PSP 1000. 2000 of course and 3000 you'll need a different file for the PSP go We're also going to be using a thing called Chrono switch This is what I'm going to use to downgrade and remove my custom firmware Go ahead and drag those into your game folder inside of your PSP and then we're good to go back to the system from here Go to the game tab then check your memory stick and use the Chrono switch downgrader You'll get a black screen with some text go ahead and hit the X button It'll take a second, but it should eventually boot up into the PSP update version 6.60. Go ahead and just install it like normal. Your system will reboot, and then we can go ahead and scroll all the way over to our settings, and I'll go down to my system settings, and I can show you that we will indeed not be on custom firmware, but instead be on the official 6.60 firmware. And that's all you have to do to downgrade. Next, I'll cover how to update. Now, updating the system is even more simple than downgrading. All you need to do is go to the Sony official website, PSP System Software Update. I'll have it linked down below, it's also on screen. Go ahead and download now. Once the download is done, you take the update folder, you put it back into the game folder on your PSP, and then I'll meet you back at the system and we'll run it. Now again, you're going to want to go ahead and navigate to your game, then memory stick, and then we're going to click on PSP update version 6.61. It'll be the same steps as before, it'll take a second to boot up, and then you just accept that you're going to update it. And if you want to see it, I'll go ahead and I'll move over and we can take a look. And I now have version 6.61 for my PSP 2000 and I am going to be putting Infinity custom firmware on this as well. But that's for a different video. I think I just heard something.